Lincoln Scholar Award Ceremony. My name is Gary Porter, an Executive Vice President or Senior Vice President of Desert Management Corporation. We're thrilled to have these incredible students here with us this evening and happy to recognize them. They worked tirelessly and uh, not just for the past few months, but as we read their bios, they've been many years at preparing for this event. It's our privilege to honor 168 scholars this evening. I think they deserve a round of applause. <laughs> We'd also like to recognize a few of our executives who are representing our corporation and others. First, Keith B. McMullen, President and CEO of Desert Management Corporation. If you wouldn't mind standing, please. And T. Kirby Brown, Executive Vice President, Desert Management Corporation. Doug Wilkes, Executive Editor of the Deseret News. And Burke Olson, publisher of the Deseret News, if he's here. And Zane Miller, Director of Special Projects at the Larry H. Miller Company. And Brittany Cummins, Education Advisor to Governor Spencer J. Cox. Now I'm very pleased to introduce our host for the evening. And uh, this is the 61st Annual Sterling Scholar Awards. The host of KSL TV Studio 5, Brooke Walker, and Chief Meteorologist, Kevin Eubank. Thank you, Gary. We are so excited to be here, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to the 2023 Deseret News and KSL's Wasatch Front Regional Sterling Scholar Awards, presented by Larry H. and Gail Miller Family Foundation and the Desert Management Corporation. The Sterling Scholar Awards program is streaming live to households across our state. So hello to everyone joining us via screen, through the screen, via the stream. Um, and thank you for joining us as well, proud family members and friends of these terrific kids. We also want to thank all of the coordinators, the teachers, and really all of the mentors in our community for supporting these fantastic kids. I'm honored to be here alongside my friend and colleague, Kevin Eubank, and they said it's the 61st annual. I won't make you confess how many of these you've hosted. At least 50 of them. Okay. And I'm so grateful you made it through the weather outside. They asked if I was going to change my coat tonight, and I knew that if I did put on a different wardrobe, that things would be thrown at me before I left. So I chose to maintain the black in the uh, formality of the night. We are so grateful that you're here, not only to all of those Sterling Scholars, but we know that they couldn't be where they are without all of you and all of your love, support, and encouragement. They are incredible. Brooke and I were speaking about all that we lack, we see in them, which is awesome. We just wish we had it when we were their age, which we do not. But we are so grateful for all of you being here tonight, and we are ready to get the night started. So let's introduce the stars of our program. Please give a round of applause for the 2023 Wasatch Front Region Sterling Scholar finalists. Please stand. <laughs> represent many different categories. We'll invite them to give us a smile and a wave as I read their specific category. These students represent excellence in the following. Vocal performance. <laughs> instrumental music. <laughs> business and marketing. <laughs> Computer technology. Dance, 
English. Family and Consumer Sciences. Mathematics. Science. Skilled and Technical Sciences. The Social Science category. Speech, Theater Arts, and Forensics. Visual Arts. And finally, World Languages. In 1962, the Deseret News and KSL 5 television acknowledged the need to bring the high school scholar the same recognition as that received by the athlete. After discussion with educators and civic leaders, a recognition program was born, the Sterling Scholar Awards. And the purpose of the Sterling Scholar Awards is to publicly recognize and publicly encourage that pursuit of excellence Kevin mentioned in scholarship, leadership, and service. This year, more than 1,500 seniors within the Wasatch region were awarded by their school and then judges with special expertise in each of our 14 categories gathered together to individually interview those 168 finalists. We're so excited to celebrate this evening. We'll hear the results of those judges' decisions tonight. These 168 finalists are not only outstanding in academics, service, and leadership, as I said, but you should know that many have overcome some pretty extraordinary challenges and trials in their individual lives. And because of their focus, their desire, their perseverance to push through, they are some of the best and brightest high school students in the state. We are complimenting them tonight during our rehearsal as well. I was so impressed with the number of kids that thanked us as they walked off stage. Just through the rehearsal process, I was super impressed. Gracious and wonderful. To begin tonight's program, our first award is in one of our music categories, vocal performance. Nominees in this category demonstrated outstanding scholarship and achievement in one or more of the areas of music. Exceptional talent in composition, vocal performance, and service to school or community through this talent. We would ask the audience, please hold your applause until all the names had been read, not only for this category, but for our future categories this evening. Welcoming to the stage the 12 finalists in the field of vocal performance. They are Abby Walker of Taylorsville, AJ Winkier of Skyline, Boston Bean, Stansbury, Braxton Burton, Roy, Isaac Allen Brockbank, Box Elder, Caitlin Kingston, Provo, Morgan Davis, Davis, Nicole Cragen, Maple Mountain, Olivia Shelton, Murray, Samuel Rank, Brighton, Saraya Reed, Tim Few, and Sterling Lunn, Mountain Ridge. We will first announce our runners up. This runners up embraces the opportunity to volunteer in the community and currently serves as the drama club president and has been cast in several theater productions playing the roles of Fiona and Shrek, Beth March Captain in Captain Hook, and many, many more. Olivia Shelton of Murray is our runner up. runner-up has a perfect 4.0 GPA, serves as the student body vice president, and has performed in a variety of musicals, even learning to lasso for the role of Will Parker in Oklahoma, Braxton Burton of Roy. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Vocal Performance currently serves as student body president. This student has performed with the high school's top choir for two years and has participated in several musical competitions and festivals. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in vocal performance is Isaac Allen Brockbank of Box Elder High School. a big part of his life, Isaac only discovered his love for singing when he was forced to take choir in ninth grade. <laughs> All of the other electives were full. Since that fateful day, Isaac has been invited to join an exclusive community choir, but his talents aren't limited to vocal performance. I know you're all going to enjoy this from his personal portfolio. 
Thanks to his parents' unceasing love of landscaping, he's also become extremely proficient in weeding, planting trees, and digging trenches. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 2023 Sterling Scholar in Vocal Performance, Isaac Allen Brockbank of Box Elder. and runners up and award recipient, you can take your seat on stage. Congratulations, well done everybody. Our next category is in the field of instrumental music. Nominees in this category demonstrated outstanding scholarship and achievement in one or more of the areas of music, performance, composition, and demonstration. Exceptional talent in instrumental music was considered, but service to school or service to the student's community through this talent also determined the qualification. So here we go as they take the stage. So proud of them. The 12 finalists in instrumental music are Alina Barron of Mountain Heights Academy, Brecken Hunter of Highland, Caroline Pace, Olympus, Emma Fippen, Farmington, Esther Wilson, Skyline, Hezekiah Bowden, Timpanogos, Julianne Hollenbach, American Fork, Madeline Theoret, Viewmont, Peter Sachuk, West, Rachel Johnson, Cedar Valley, Sophia Detchen, Lone Peak, Spencer Sanders, Green Canyon. The next runner-up has been involved in band council every year of high school and was recently selected as one of six students in the country to compete in the final round of the President's Own Marine Band Concerto Competition. Juliana Hollenbeck of American Fork. runner-up loves giving back to the community through music, is a member of the Gifted Music School of Conservatory, and was a finalist for the Utah Baroque, Utah Asta Solo, and the FSO Concerto Competitions, Madeline Theriot of Viewmont. Now this is my favorite part of the program. We're going to read something the winner knows. You do not know the name. See if you can figure out who that is. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Instrumental Music is a national award-winning musician and combines a passion for academics, community service, athletics, and the world of classical music performances in pursuit of leadership opportunities. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Instrumental Music is Sophia Detchen of Lone Peak. <laughs> at age five. I believe that's kindergarten. That's impressive. And has been admitted to Harvard's class of 2027. She has already attended the Harvard Undergraduate International Relations Scholar Program and was chosen as an ambassador for their foreign policy initiative. Her time spent with the young diplomats of Utah allowed her to combine her passion for foreign affairs and music when she performed at Expo 2020 in Dubai. From Sophia's portfolio, I hold fast to the quote, there's no better diplomacy than breaking bread on someone's doorstep and playing music. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Instrumental Music, Sophia Detchen of Lone Peak High School. Well done. Our next Sterling Scholar Award will be in the category of business and marketing. We'll invite the finalists from that category to take the stage now. The finalists in this category have demonstrated scholarship and achievement in one or more of the following areas. The focus was in business management, accounting, data processing, entrepreneurship, or other fields related to business occupations. The 12 finalists in the field of business and marketing are Amrita Krishna West, Koi Kromenhook Tintyu, L. Christensen Harriman, Isaac Chawa, Spanish Fork, Jarrett Jones, Corner Canyon, Mary Christensen, Bingham, Melanie Robinson, Sky Ridge, Reagan Lynn Rogers, Weber, Sophia Moen Viziri from Hillcrest, Tammy Fung, Taylorsville, William Alawalia, Bountiful, and William Marks, Woods Cross. The 
the two runners up in this category. This runner up holds several leadership positions in student government and was one of 28 students selected globally to participate in the University of Notre Dame's Environment Leadership Seminars program. Congratulations to the runner up, Sophia Moen Vaziri from Hillcrest. The next runner-up also serves in student government, is DECA president, and has won several awards at DECA state competitions. This student gives back to the community by creating ABC reading books for incoming refugees to our state, Jarrett Jones of Corner Canyon. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Business and Marketing serves in several leadership positions, including student body vice president and FBLA president, and holds numerous state titles in FBLA and DECA, as well as a national title in FBLA. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Business and Marketing, Reagan Lynn Rogers of Weber High School. academic accomplishments, Reagan's volunteer efforts are also very impressive. She works as the event organizer for the Pledge Jar, which includes an annual golf tournament that raises more than $25,000 for students and families in Utah. She also owns and operates Level Up Learning Tutoring for elementary school students. From Reagan's portfolio, her mantra is, that deserves a thumbs up. Why? Because you're great. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Business and Marketing is Reagan Lynn Rogers of Weber High School. And tonight's award presentation is computer technology. So basically all of what I'm about to say is way over my head. Uh, the finalists in this category were, were selected for outstanding scholarship and achievement in one or more of the following areas, computer programming, HTML and coding, interfacing, networking, repair, construction, design and illustration, media and multimedia, or other related fields. The 12 finalists in the field of computer technology are Aaron Wang of Skyline, Arthur Grover of Venture, Ashton Mantheus of Mountain Crest, Chandler Iyer of American Fork, Christopher Panko of West, Colin Petrie of Alta, Jaron Woodbury from Cedar Valley, Kanul Kamtalkar from Hillcrest, Michaela Hansen from Box Elder, Victoria Hollingsworth from Harriman, Vikram Adida, the Freedom Preparation Academy, and William Westerberg from Provo. And now the runners up. This runner up serves as student body vice president and is certified in multiple coding languages. He's built, not he, they have built various applications ranging from websites for businesses and nonprofits to AI for, the, for a game of chess. Kulnal Kam Thukar from Hillcrest. The next, this next runner-up has a four-point GPA, serves in student leadership, and began coding in the seventh grade. Michaela Hansen, Box Elder. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Computer Technology has won several state awards in science, in engineering, and in math has co-authored a published paper which was presented at the 2022 Transportation Research Board annual meeting. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Computer Technology is Aaron Wang of Skyline High School. impressive to note among many accolades that Aaron is interested in applications of machine learning to improve the lives of people with strokes, with amputations, and with uh, life-limiting disabilities. From Aaron's portfolio, my current research focuses on the creation of a wristband that will enable people with neuromuscular disabilities to control devices in a smart home with hand gestures. A flick of the wrist or a turning of their hand, the 2023 Sterling Scholar in Computer Technology is Aaron Wang of Skyline High School. is dance. 
Each finalist demonstrated exceptional skill, achievement, and creative expression in the art of artistic dance. Portfolios submitted included, included their training, choreographed dances, performances, and dance service rendered not only to their school, but to their communities at large. Nominees demonstrated their technique and choreographical skills by performing a solo comp composition during the judging process. The 12 finalists in the field of dance are Addison Eiler, Lehigh, Aspen Alquist, Davis, Brinley Larson, Mountain Ridge, Caroline Hill, Skyline, Emily Hancock, Orem, Haley Williams, Viewmont, Caitlin Gregory, Kearns, Micah Berg, Salt Lake School of the Performing Arts, Olivia Hewish, Cedar Valley, Reagan Klontz, Ridgeline, Sarah Blodgett, Ogden, and Tira Urabi, Murray. Dance runner-up has been a 4.0 student since seventh grade, was a student body officer for two years taking great pride in helping and serving others, and she dances more than 15 hours a week at her studio. Congratulations to Brinley Larson of Mountain Ridge. Runner-up in this category also keeps a 4.0 GPA while having a full studio schedule and performing with the high school drill team. This year being selected to the 6A All-State Drill Team. Congratulations to Aspen Alquist of Davis. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Dance is trained in a variety of genres including ballet, point, contemporary, hip-hop, jazz, and modern, serves as the dance company president, and is a member of the Choice Humanitarian Junior Board acting as the social media director and co-president. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Dance is Caroline Hill of Skyline Hill. has been dancing for the past 16 years and has a devotion to academic success, a commitment to community service, and a focus on growth and love of dance. In 2021, Caroline and a friend put together a benefit concert to raise money for ALS, which had taken her mother a few years earlier. From Caroline's portfolio, she wrote, quote, I have a measurable gratitude for my ability to dance. Being able to dance for those who cannot helps me appreciate my health, which allows me to do what I love most every single day. A warm congratulations to the 2023 Sterling Scholar in Dance, Caroline Hill of Skyline. Our next category is English. This award is given for scholarship and achievement, not only in English, but creative writing, journalism, literature, and related subjects. Judging in the category of English, as with all categories in tonight's Sterling Scholar Awards, is based on scholarship, leadership, and service as demonstrated through activity and interest in a particular area of academics. Our 12 finalists on stage in the category of English are Anika Rao of West, Claren Cook from Timfew, Ella Mask of Lone Peak, Ella Stott of Riverton, Emma Craig from Da Vinci Academy, Hannah Dowding, Skyview, Harper Elder, Hillcrest, Caitlin Simmons, Brighton, Katie Crabtree, Farmington, Kira McNamara, Skyline, Kelsey Argyle, Payson, and Noah Harkness from Alta. One of our runners-up is the editor-in-chief of the high school newspaper and has received several awards for volunteer service and hopes to pursue a career in journalism. Annika Rao of West. Our next runner-up is an avid volunteer, received a perfect five on the AP language test and has written stories for elementary students. Congratulations to Harper Elder of Hillcrest. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in English is book club president, enjoys volunteering and mentoring children in Title I schools, and is in the process of writing a children's book series herself. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in English is Kira McNamara of Skyline High School.
The award matches her dress. That seems meant to be. <laughs> Kira is a student in Skyline's International uh, Baccarat program. Under her leadership, the high school book club membership has increased fourfold. From Kira's portfolio, I believe one of the best aspects of being human is we read for simple pleasure. And I'm glad more people have become comfortable identifying as bibliophiles. <laughs> The 2023 Sterling Scholar in English is Kira McNamara of Skyline High School. Our next Sterling Scholar category uh, will be awarded in the category, I should say, of Family and Consumer Sciences. So these nominees were judged by a few different things. They were judged according to their outstanding scholarship and achievement in one or more of the following crucial areas. Child development and child care, interior design, family living, food and nutrition, culinary arts, clothing and fashion, and other valuable life skills. The 12 finalists in family and consumer sciences are Abraham Escobar, Timpanogos, Elizabeth Fonsbeck, Mountain Crest, Anna de Guzman, Tint View, Brianna Bailey, Ogden, Lillian Acey, West, Laura Larson, Cottonwood, Mackenzie West, Jordan, Samantha Warren, Lone Peak, Shaylin Openshaw, Taylorsville, Shelby Gardner, Roy, Tess Rasmussen, Mountain View, and Tracy No, Skyline. is FCCLA Vice President, serves as President of the Math Club, and plans to pursue a career as an FSC, excuse me, FCS teacher. Congratulations to Samantha Warren of Lone Peak. This next runner-up is an avid volunteer, a Utah FCCLA state officer, a position that has taken them to Washington, D.C. to meet with the Utah State Senators and our Utah State Representatives. Congratulations to Mackenzie West of Jordan. And the 2023 Sterling Scholar in the category of Family and Consumer Sciences is the FCCLA Vice President, volunteers at elementary schools, and even started a summer camp for younger kids. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Family and Consumer Sciences is Laura Larson of Cottonwood High School. Laura has a love for all things family and consumer science. She particularly enjoys making connections with students and is focused on a career in teaching. From Laura's portfolio, quote, being raised in a family full of educators, I have always carried a strong desire to become a teacher myself. Tonight we celebrate the 2023 Sterling Scholar in Family and Consumer Sciences, Laura Larson of Cottonwood. Thank you. Our next category in tonight's competition is mathematics. For scholarship and achievement in mathematics, scholars must exhibit outstanding records in mathematical competitions, evidence of potential contribution to mathematical knowledge. As they take the stage, I will invite you to applaud as we conclude the reading of their names. The 12 finalists in the field of mathematics are Brody Lister, Ogden, Charvel Saloum from Woods Cross, Clark Campbell, Green Canyon, Dawson Walker, Corner Canyon, Eleanor Woolley, Orem, Isaac Elmer, Salem Hills, Luke Holt, the Academy for Math, Engineering, and Science, Matthew Helwig, Harriman, Michael Chen, Hillcrest, Rona Agawal, West, Samuel Moss, Maple Mountain, and Trevor Eldridge, Copper Hills. This runner-up is the HOSA president, a four-time qualifier for the American Invitational Mathematics exam, and a two-time 6A public forum state champion, Ronak Agawal of West. Our next runner-up is a National Merit Scholar semifinalist, ranks at the top in mathematic competitions, and is an avid volunteer giving aid to refugees and animal shelters, Dawson Walker of Corner Canyon.
The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Mathematics is the captain of the robotics team, leads Utah's American Region Mathematic League team, and is placed in the Harvard-MIT Mathematics Tournament. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Mathematics is Luke Holt of Academy for Math and Engineering and Science. Luke combines his love of math with community service. He has worked as a Boy Scout camp counselor and as a math, I don't know what that is, mathnasium? Yeah, mathnasium. Math math very smart, very smart. I clearly need to enroll. He is involved with Mission Math, a nonprofit organization created to instill a love of math among elementary and middle school students. I'll read an excerpt from Luke's portfolio. He wrote, it's my personal mission to share the inner beauties of mathematics with as many people as possible. I've enjoyed serving the community in this way and hope to continue serving the community after high school. Luke plans to further his math studies at the University of Utah. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Mathematics is Luke Colt from the Academy for Math, Engineering, and Science. Well, the next Sterling Scholar Award will be in the field of science. This award is presented for scholarship and achievement in advanced work, inventiveness or outstanding service in the field of biology, chemistry, engineering, physics, health science, science, and related subjects. As the 12 finalists take the stage, they are Brittany Rivera, Provo, Caitlin Tran Rodvon, Ridgeline, Emma Green, Lone Peak, Esther Ojo, Copper Hills, James Fowler, Springville, Jay Shabari, Shankar, Hillcrest, Catherine Kaufman, Olympus, London Amato, Green Canyon, Megan Tandar, West, Nathan Christensen, Maple Mountain, Tiffany Nguyen, Roy, and Sin Sin B, Skyline. Up in this category has research that has been recognized and published by several organizations, including you know the New York Times, heard of them, uh huh, the LA Times, those two, and the United Nations. Never heard of that. Okay, and has also earned the U.S. Navy's Naval Science Award. Congratulations to Jay Sabari Shankar from Hillcrest. is a National Merit Semifinalist and is the recipient of the International Science and Engineering Fair Special Award and Scholarship. Congratulations to Megan Tandar of West. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Science serves as the director of the School Service Club, is a senior editor of the International Youth Neuroscience Journal, and is host of the Teen Mental Health Podcast. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Science is Katherine Kaufman of Olympus High School. science and mental health, whether through internships, competitions, AP classes, or independent research, Kate constantly seeks opportunities for scientific learning and is excited to continue her studies at Harvard University. Catherine was asked to describe her, oh don't go yet, I'm still talking about you, I'm still talking about you sister. Catherine was asked to, ask to describe herself in her portfolio and she said if I had to describe myself in one word it would be curious. Constant exploration has bled into every aspect of who I am. So a warm congratulations to the 2023 Sterling Scholar in Science, Catherine Kaufman of Olympus High School. Our next category in our program is Skilled in Technical Sciences Education. The finalists in this category were selected for outstanding scholarship and achievement in one or more of the following areas. Agriculture Sciences, Automotive Services, Cabinet Making Millwork, Carpentry, Cosmetology, Drafting and CAD, Graphics Printing, excuse me, Graphics Printing Technology, Law Enforcement, Machinist Technicians and CNC, Welding, Filmmaking and other related fields. Here we go with the 12 finalists in skilled and technical sciences. We have Alta Mitchell from Lone Peak. We have Divya Sundar of West, Elliot Coda of Highland, Eliza Jenkins from Timpu, Ethan T from Viewmont, Jennifer Davilia from Cyprus, Kelsey Shields, Tuila, Malia Funes of Timpanogos, Reagan Manwaring of Brighton, Samuel Toledo of Logan, 
Shaley Evertson, Murray, and Zachary Ruffner from Springville. runner-up competed in, his, in, in a science fair in fifth grade is the earliest competition, serves as a host of vice president, and is an EMT and city youth mayor, Malia Funes of Timpanogos. Our next scholar, our next scholar has maintained a four-point GPA throughout high school and has excelled in multiple AP courses and was named an AP scholar with distinction. Reagan Manwaring of Brighton. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Skilled and Technical Sciences serves in student leadership, enjoys tutoring fellow students, and volunteers as a friend in the kids' crew up at Primary Children's Hospital. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Skilled and Technical Sciences is Divya Sundar of West High School. Divya has been enthralled with the medical field for many years and began working at, in hematology lab at age 13. From Divya's portfolio, with extensive involvement in medical science, I have learned how to lead with compassion and lead with respect. I embody empathy, passion, tenacity, and an outcome-driven approach. Let's celebrate the 2023 Sterling Scholar in Skilled and Technical Sciences, Divya Sundar of West High School. Well, it's been a wonderful evening so far, but we get to take a little bit of a break and recognize one of our fellow or former Sterling Scholar Award recipients. From 2019, Elizabeth Van Dam will be performing for us this evening. She's been studying music since the age of four and teaching since the age of 11. She is currently pursuing a degree in piano performance on scholarship at Brigham Young University as both a performer and a teacher. Her passion is helping others to find connection and community through music. In addition to music, Elizabeth loves reading, good books, baking bread, and spending time with her parents and eight siblings whenever she gets the chance. Elizabeth will be performing Ave Maria by Sigvaldi Caldonas.
want to listen to that every night before Beautiful. I go to sleep. That was amazing. Elizabeth, thank you so much. Our next Sterling Scholar Award will be in the field of social science. Candidates in social science are judged according to scholarship and achievement in the field of American government, geography, history, economics, social issues, world affairs, and other related subjects. So they were so enthralled in the music, they've taken their sweet time coming to the run. So we'll take our time, but celebrating these incredible finalists. First, we have Brandon Wallace, Viewmont, Brighton Kid, Pleasant Grove, Claire Armand, Tent View, Carrie Ann Skidmore, Lone Peak, Kyle Anderson, Riverton, Lindley Richards, Fremont, Lydia May, West, Mac Mackenzie Capito, Providence Hall, Natalia Lopez, Green Canyon, Roy King, Hillcrest, Sarah Park, Summit Academy, and Zachary Burnham, Murray. Remember how to do this. This runner-up serves in student leadership, is a member of Youth City Council, and first discovered a love of social science, sciences at age nine while helping a relative study for US citizenship. Congratulations to Kyle Anderson of Riverton. Runner-up loves volunteering in the community, has competed in numerous international competitions, and has received a special award from the CIA for research on implicit bias in elections. Lindley Richards from Fremont. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Social Science is captain of the debate team, a student board member for the Salt Lake City School District, and president of the Utah Attorney General's Youth Committee. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Social Science is Lydia May of West High School. President of the AG's Youth Committee, Lydia used her position to increase ideological diversity within the group by recruiting 39 new members from rural areas across the entire state of Utah. From Lydia's portfolio, quote, I want to write public policy that improves Utah children's lives. I'm especially interested, she said, in children's mental health. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Social Science is Lydia May of West High School. scholars. Before we proceed with more awards, we'd like to again thank our sponsors. The winner in each category will receive a $2,500 scholarship, and the runners up in each category will receive a $1,000 scholarship, in addition to opportunities from colleges and universities. The General Sterling Scholar winner for the Wasatch Front will receive an additional $2,500 scholarship for a total of $5,000. The winner of the Gail Miller Community Service Award will receive a $2,000 scholarship, and the Philo T. Farnsworth Award winner will receive a $1,000 scholarship. Many thanks for these awards provided by the sponsors of our Sterling Scholar Program, which include the Deseret News, KSL, Larry H. and Gail Miller Family Foundation, and the Deseret Management Corporation. Yeah, the Larry, oh, go ahead, yeah, yeah, please. I'm going to add a specific note about one of our sponsors, the Larry H. and Gail Miller Family Foundation. They have made a significant contribution to the Sterling Scholar Program over the years. And this partnership, uh, we want to note, has increased the scholarship amounts for the entire statewide program, uh, providing even more financial support to, those, to these incredible students this evening. So let's give a special thank you, if we can, to the Larry H. and Gail Miller Family Foundation. to those scholarship funds that we just mentioned, our scholars have ample opportunities to continue their education at colleges and universities around the Intermountain area. These institutions offer various levels of scholarships for tonight's finalists. And then I'm just going to throw out, you can't neglect bragging rights. That's right. Major bragging rights. So a lot to be earned tonight, a lot to be celebrated. You know what, our next category in tonight's competition, they've looked good for a little while, let's call them out by name. The category is Speech, Theater, Arts, and Forensics. Finalists in this category must exercise superior scholarship and achievement in one or more of the following areas. Debate, theater, drama, musical theater, public speaking, or other forensic events. Judging for speech and drama, as with all other awards on tonight's program, is based upon the individual's portfolio, exhibits, and personal interviews. 
our 12 finalists in this category are Andrew Shackelford of Bingham, Heber Ford from Lone Peak, Ian Colton of Corner Canyon, Joseph Nelson of Maple Mountain, Karina Barnes from Granger, Catherine O'Mara, Salt Lake School of the Performing Arts, Kayla Van Hees, Summit Academy, Lucy Matthews from Box Elder, Nevaeh Parker from Roy, Serena Lee Rogers, the Leadership Academy of Utah, Sophia Grace Brown of Davis, and Trevor McMillan of Skyline. This runner-up is enrolled in the AP and Honors courses and performs with both the theater and dance team and serves on the Drama Council, Karina Barnes of Granger. <laughs> Karina was unable to attend tonight. She will be missed. Our next runner-up has received several awards for academic and extracurricular activities and achievements, is the debate team captain and secretary of the National Honor Society and cross-country uh, captain. Kayla Van Hees of Summit Academy. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Speech, Theater Arts, and Forensics is captain of the speech and debate team, proudly serves as a city youth council member, has been a student body government officer since seventh grade, and is currently student body president. Our 2023 Sterling Scholar in Speech, Theater Arts, and Forensics is Nevaeh Parker of Roy High School. from such, such deserving kids. This is so fun. Uh, Nevea has a passion for justice and equality in all facets of life, which motivated her to organize a black student union. Using her voice to help others will surely serve her well in her pursuit of a career as a lawyer and an activist. From her portfolio, words have an impact, and I believe when an individual is given a platform, they should use it to help. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Speech, Theater, Arts, and Forensics is Nevea Parker of Roy High School. schools that hosted the Sterling Scholars Award Program semi-final and final judging this year. It's no small undertaking. We appreciate the school's generosity um, for making it as stress-free as they can for our students. So Weber, Murray, Lone Peak, and Hillcrest High, thank you for your support. And I guess I'm publicly committing them now. We are looking forward to next year. <laughs> category is visual arts. So candidates for the Sterling Scholar Award in visual arts must possess exceptional skill and creative expression in the fields of drawing, artistic photography, commercial art, mixed media, graphic art, painting, sculpture, and related fields. Nominees in each Sterling Scholar category must also display achievement in their category as well as leadership and community opportunities and service as well. The 12 finalists in the field of visual arts are Anna Jacobs, Murray, Catherine Bow, Tempanogus, Kulsa Thomas, excuse me, Chelsea Thomas, Mountain Ridge, Ellie Grieve, Skyline, Emma Euler, Mountain Crest, Isaac Leonard, Orem, Jocelyn Brown, Maple Mountain, Junsun Lee, Logan, Kate Williams, Brighton, Lily Kate Jones, Olympus, Natalie Harris, Northridge, and Sydney Bateman, Layton. received the President's Award for Educational Excellence, serves as a youth counselor for special needs adults, and is a teacher at the Utah Refugee Center, and is president of the Math Club and secretary of the Art History Club. She's a busy gal. Congratulations to Kate Williams from Brighton. This runner-up serves in student leadership, first took an interest in photography at age seven, has written more than 60 original film scripts, and has produced a film documentary that was selected to the All-American Film Festival and the Cannes Short Film Festival as well. Congratulations to Isaac Leonard from Orem.
The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Visual Arts has been taking art classes since the age of six and recently won first place in Granite District's Visual Arts and Language Competition and had a piece of art displayed in a gallery in Cache Valley over the summer. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Visual Arts is Ellie Grieve of Skyline High School. been devoted to art and the improvement of her skills. She's currently interested in conveying personality in her pottery by giving her pots human faces. She's planning to attend Westminster College. As part of her portfolio writing, she was asked what it takes for an artist to succeed, and we really loved her answer. She wrote, the never-ending support and love I have from a community who understands my passions and my goals is something I believe all artists need in order to become the best possible artist and the best possible person that they can be. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in Visual Arts is Ellie Grieve of Skyline High School. but I can't believe it's our last category tonight. It's World Languages. The Sterling Scholar Award is for outstanding scholarship and persistence in the study of a foreign language. Nominees demonstrated their ability to communicate in the language by speaking, listening, reading, and writing during judging. As these 12 finalists take the stage, we'll announce their name and show them our appreciation and celebration. Our 12 finalists in the field of World Languages are Aaron Jackson Osmond of Harriman, Abigail Folkman from Springville, Anand Sonamara from Orem, Ella Gilbert from West Jordan, Emily Guilman from Corner Canyon, Esther Clayton from Beaumont, Isaac Hill from Timfew, Isabel Ibarra from West, Callie Gibby from Weaver, Naomi Myers of Cottonwood, Sierra Heflin from Olympus, and Ty Robinson from Ogden. Our runners-up as fluent in four languages is the winner of several state and national competition and is a two-time varsity tennis regional champion, Isabel Ibarra from West. <laughs> Next runner-up is a scholar and an elite athlete, a varsity cheerleader, a 4.0 student, and a future pediatric surgeon, Sierra Heflin of Olympus. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in World Languages is an avid volunteer in the community, has studied a total of five languages, and was an award winner in a film festival. Our 2023 Sterling Scholar in World Languages is Esther Clayton of Beaumont High School. Recently, Esther was one of over 4,000 students to compete in an international speech competition sponsored by the Chinese Ministry of Education. After finishing first place for her region, she was invited to compete internationally. She made connections with others from around the world and finished in fourth place. From Esther's portfolio, I'll quote, I hope that through my studies of foreign languages, I will be able to help contribute to greater cultural understanding and exchange, helping make the beauty of our world's diverse cultures more accessible to others. The 2023 Sterling Scholar in World Languages is Esther Clayton of Beaumont High School. Before we continue this evening, we'd like to thank the Sterling Scholar Committee members who made the past few months and tonight happen. Amanda Kazarian Evans, Kristen Kingsley, Jen Boschweiler, and Rick Justison. A big round of applause for all of their efforts. A few more awards to go tonight. Are you with us still? We're good? We keep going? Are, are you good? Are we ready? Okay, okay. So we'll move on now to the special awards category and to present our Philo T. Farnsworth Excellence in Education Governor's Award, we'd like to welcome to the stage and to the microphone, Brittany Cummins, the Education Advisor to Governor Spencer Cox. I hope your applause hands are just getting warmed up. Philo T. Farnsworth was the inventor of something that would change the world, 
television. Even though the odyssey of tele television involved many people, the basic concept of electronic television began in the fertile mind of a young boy from Utah. In the end, native Utah, Philo T. Farnsworth was recognized by Time Magazine as the father of television and as one of the greatest minds of this century. In that spirit, and on behalf of Governor Spencer Cox, it is my pleasure to present this award. Let's first recognize those who were considered for this great award. Please stand as your name is read. Colin Petri Alta. <laughs> Eliza Jenkins Timfew. Nathan Christiansen, Maple Mountain. And Samuel Moss, Maple Mountain. Thank you. Congratulations to you all. The 2023 recipient of the Philo T. Farnsworth Excellence in Education Governor's Award was the 2022 Choir Student of the Year, loves to learn and create, has several CTE certifications. The 2023 recipient of the Philo T. Farnsworth Excellence in Education Governor's Award is Eliza Jenkins from Timview High School. To list a few, you're welcome to say there. To list a few of her accomplishments, Eliza is the mechanical team lead of her first robotics team. They won the 2022 First Robotics Utah Regional and qualified for the World Championships. She has created an Iron Man suit complete with electronics. Congratulations again to the 2023 recipient of the Philo T. Farnsworth Excellence in Education Governor's Award, Eliza Jenkins. Brittany. The Gail Miller Community Service Award is given to one of our 168 Sterling Scholar finalists in recognition of outstanding community service. To present the Gail Miller Community Service Award, we invite Zane Miller, Director of Special Projects for the Larry H. and Gail Miller Family Foundation. While today we celebrate academic excellence, Gail also wants to recognize the vital role that community service plays in improving the world around us. The Gail Miller Service Award is given to one student who exemplifies this commitment to serving the community. With the incredible programs and volunteer efforts seen from every one of you, our communities are more unified. We have a video message from Gail to share with you. Good evening, Sterling Scholars. On behalf of the Larry H. Miller family and our businesses, I'm pleased to congratulate you on your outstanding academic achievements. It's an honor to support the Sterling Scholar Wasatch Front Region. The hard work and the long hours you've dedicated to ensure a bright future will leave a lasting positive influence on you, your family, your friends, and your community. You've learned to persevere, to strive for excellence, and to serve your community. These are qualities that have helped the Larry H. Miller Group achieve success and build a lasting legacy, and I know they'll help you to do the same. I'm sure there are many great things ahead for you and wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Sterling Scholars. Tonight, the award is given to one of our finalists who along with academic superiority has demonstrated an outstanding community involvement and service. Bef before we reveal the winner of this award, we'd like to acknowledge those who were considered for the award 
please stand as your name is read. Alta Mitchell, Lone Peak. Christopher Pencow, West. Emma Craig, Da Vinci. Jinsung Lee Logan. Caitlin Gregory Kearns. Callie Ann Gibby Weber. London Amato Green Canyon. Uh, Mit, uh, Michelle Chin, Hillcrest. <laughs> Natalia Lopez, Green Canyon. <laughs> Peter Sawchuk, West. <laughs> Sarah Reed, Timpview. Sophia Brown Davis. <laughs> Tammy Fung, Taylorsville. <laughs> Tracy Now, Skyline. <laughs> Thank you for your community involvement and outstanding service. Let's give them a round of applause. The 2023, reci 2023 recipient of the Gail Miller Community Service Award in the is a National Honor Society member, participates in choir, is an, is an academic all-star cross-country runner, and organized and hosted a Women in STEM webinar. The 2023 recipient of the Gail Miller Community Service Award in, sci in the science category London Amandu, Amando from Green Canyon High School. London is an exemplary, exemplary student who exhibits the very finest humanitarian, philanthropic, and social characteristics expected of a Sterling Scholar. As, her peer tutor, as, her, as a peer tutor, she helps students with mental disabilities. During the pandemic, she read STEM books to over 650 students at 18 different schools. London raised money to start an elementary robotics team that she coached and mentored in competition. She has had a great impact on the community through her dedication of science, her leadership, and her service. London, thank you for all of your service. It is our pleasure to present London with the Gail Miller Community Service Award and $2,000 scholarship. Congratulations, London. You make a difference. Let's give her a round of applause. London, congratulations, Zane. Thank you so much. And now to present the General Sterling Scholar Award, it's my personal privilege and pleasure to introduce Keith B. McMullen, President and CEO of Deseret Management Corporation. Let's welcome Keith to the stage. This has been an incredible evening. And of all the events that I have the privilege of attending during the course of the year, I have to confess this is always my favorite. And as I think about this country and all that it has to offer, we see here before us some of the best offerings that we could ever, ever dream of having. 
I am so grateful personally to each and every one of you, to the student bodies you represent, to your parents and family members who have given so much in your support, and hope that as we repose in you these recognitions this evening, you will feel well about shouldering the future of this great country and the opportunities that lie before you. The General Sterling Scholar Award recognizes an individual who excels in a particular category and also demonstrates exemplary scholarship, leadership, and citizenship excellence. We would like to invite now our 14 winning Sterling Scholars to come to center stage. So if you would, please. After the final round of judging, new judges were brought together to assess the portfolios of the 14 Sterling Scholars standing before you. They reviewed their qualifications and con contributions, as I have just described and as we have recognized them for this evening. As mentioned earlier this evening, in addition to the $2,500 scholarship from the Deseret News and KSL, the winner of the general scholarship category will receive a $2,500 scholarship for a total scholarship amount of $5,000. The 2023 General Sterling Scholar winner is Aaron Wang of Skyline High School. Aaron is a U.S. Presidential Scholar nominee in career and technical education. As a sophomore, Aaron founded and became president of the Skyline Artificial Intelligence Club. Aaron is a researcher at the Utah Neuro, Neuro Robot, Ro, Robotics, Neuro Robotics, is that right, Aaron? <laughs> Neuro Robotics Lab and helps in the development of biologically inspired brain computer interfaces that aim to restore and enhance human function. Aaron's academic scholarship resume is impressive and diverse. It also shows leadership and a commitment to hard work and innovation that has made a difference and that will continue to do so into the future. Congratulations to our 2023 General Sterling Scholar, Aaron Wang of Skyline High School. so much and congratulations. What an incredible night. The specifics about tonight's program and the results will be on the Sterling Scholar website. And one last note, as we announced this earlier, there was more celebration about this than I believe the actual awards. Scholars, please don't forget your certificates in the lobby and your crumble cookie. Be sure to remind them, although it sounds like you won't need to do that. <laughs> Ushers are standing by to help you, guide you to the right places as you exit. Oh, what a fantastic evening, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. Sterling Scholars, please stand so we can properly recognize you. One final round of applause. We're clapping till our hands fall off for our winners, the runners-up, and all of our finalists. <laughs> the very best 
of the best, and we are so proud of these fantastic students and excited for the future that they will help bring to all of us. Thank you for being here. Enjoy your evening and safe travels back to your homes. Good night.